one of our watchers uh, recently pointed out that uh, he has quite a bit of trouble taking a thick rubber dam between uh, two teeth and w whenever he tries to do this what he manages to do is uh, to actually cut the rubber dam and this is quite common but um, uh, let me just try and give you a short fix for this uh, for example between my two premolars you can see that uh, the rubber dam is caught uh, this is a thick rubber dam what I'd like to do is to use my floss in such a manner uh, uh, which allows me not to cut the rubber dam. How I do this is quite easy. I choose a, a wall of the tooth that I'm going to follow and I only go using this C shape of this uh, uh, floss. I only touch that wall. So if I'm going to first decide that uh, uh, I'm going to follow the mesial side of tooth 1.5, I'm just going to hold my floss in contact with tooth 1.5. Then I'm going to follow the distal wall of tooth 1.4 and I'm only going to follow the tooth, the distal tooth, distal side of tooth 1.4. As you can see, I'm not going between the teeth here and applying pressure. This will cut the rubber dam for sure, especially if it's still caught between the teeth. What I want to do is make a nice letter C around the tooth that I'm following. And I do this in every space. I go on the mesial wall, I follow the mesial wall, and then I go back out and I follow the distal wall of the mesial tooth. And this helps me invaginate the rubber dam in these spaces. If I'm not able to, f to completely invaginate the rubber dam, no problem, I can use a probe. And I've also had a question regarding this. Uh, how do I use the probe in order not to cut the rubber dam? Well, I just place it in a 45 degree angle around the crown of the tooth and then I gently push towards the gingiva and then I follow the contour of the tooth. I do this once from mesial to distal and then I do it again from distal to mesial and you can already see how the dam inverts by itself almost. I go to 1.5 and I do the same. You see? I don't punch through the rubber dam I don't touch it I just follow the contour of the tooth using my probe in a 45 degree angle like this and the dam inverts by itself almost of course you can also use um, your air spray air spray your units air spray because you're going to have that at your disposal in the dental office so I place my probe here in a 45 degree angle and I gingerly push the rubber dam, distal to mesial, and then mesial to distal. I just follow the contour of the tooth, like this. See you guys soon.